हेलो व्यूवर्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इफ़ यू आर न्यू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकन सो दैट वेन एवर आई अपलोड वीडियोस यू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन फर्स्ट हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम रुमोनी योर मैथ्स टीचर सो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग चैप्टर इंट्रोडक्शन टू ट्रिगोनोमेट्री फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर एट सो स्टूडेंट्स आई होप माई वीडियोज आर हेल्पिंग यू एंड नाउ लेट एस स्टार्ट सो दिस आर द टॉपिक विच आर इंक्लूडेड ऑन योर सिलेबस सी दिस वन फर्स्ट वन इज इंट्रोडक्शन देन ट्रिगोनोमेट्रिक रेशियोज देन ट्रिगोनोमेट्रिक रेशियोज ऑफ सम स्पेसिफिक एंगल्स एंड आफ्टर दैट आई विल शेयर सम सीक्रेट ट्रिप ट्रिक्स ओके then after that trigonometric ratios of some complementary angles and trigonometric identity so students i think most of you are thinking like why do we study trigonometry what is the need of uh, this trigonometry in our life okay well let me tell you about the importance of trigonometry trigonometry can be used to measure the height of a building or mountain without actually measuring it okay it is very interesting see without actually measuring it you can find out the height of a building and a uh, mountain how i will show you see suppose this is a building okay suppose this is a building and you are standing over here and you want to know uh, about the height of the building how you will know if you know the distance from where you observe the building and the angle made by your eyes and the top of the building then you will be able to find the height of the building isn't it amazing yes because with the help of trigonometrical concept you can find out the height of the building by this distance and this angle only so students uh, in this way uh, the height of the mountain can also be measured okay uh, and see uh from the eye of the observer and to the top of the suppose mountain okay and you need this distance then you will be able to find out the height of the mountain also similarly trigonometry are used in navigation then it is used in oceanography also in calculating the heights of the tides in ocean and trigonometrical concept are also used in engineering and physical science so the word trigonometry is derived from uh, the greek word tri which means three gon means side and metron means measure so students let us proceed to this chapter now so students let us start from the basic uh, you know this triangle this triangle is known as what a uh, scaling triangle why because all the three sides are not equal this is an this is a scaling triangle clear this is what type of triangle this is an isosceles triangle where two sides are equal in this triangle clear and this triangle is what an equilateral triangle because all the three sides are equal and you know this triangle this is a right angle triangle where one angle is 90 degree and other two angles are acute angle that means less than 90 degree and we will Uh, restrict our discussion to acute angle only in this chapter now students this is a right angle triangle uh, where one side is what perpendicular other side is base and the third side is hypotenuse all of you know that now the longest side is obviously the hypotenuse so suppose this one is h okay then see with respect to this acute angle we will identify the perpendicular and the base clear when we will take suppose this is angle a b and c okay when i take with respect to angle a this angle considering this angle our perpendicular will be this okay and base will be this done and with respect to this angle this is our perpendicular this will be our base that means the side just opposite to the this angle will be our perpendicular and that adjacent uh, the adjacent side will be our base similarly when we have taken when when we have considered this angle 
the side just opposite to this angle will be our perpendicular and this side will be our base i think it is clear now now if you observe i have rotated the triangle okay now these two are the acute angles and this is 90 degree okay this is the right angle right angle now if i consider this angle if i consider this angle the side opposite to angle a will be our perpendicular and the longest side is our hypotenuse and this will be our base the side adjacent to angle a will be our base clear and if i consider angle c suppose if i consider angle c then the side opposite to angle c will be our perpendicular then this is obviously our hypotenuse and this will be our base clear so now students we will do trigonometric ratios p b h okay p b h are what the sides of this right angle triangle uh, i have written in short isn't it so p is perpendicular then b is base and h is hypotenuse now if i ask you to make a combination of two to uh, two to side from this right angle triangle how you will make it and in how many ways can we uh, make the combination you can see this see p h isn't it perpendicular hypotenuse perpendicular base in this way you can make six combinations see one two three four five six and how this uh, combinations are related to this trigonometric ratio you will get in the next video